Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is my son Taj and this video I will be showing you how I retwist his locks. He is three years old and he's had his locks since I think November of 2015. I didn't really write down like the exact day that I locked his hair or started his lock journey if that's what you want to call it. Um, but this is how I retwist his hair. First, I, after I wash it, I put some olive oil and coconut oil on his scalp and just massage it in. And then for the leave-in, I like to use the Carol's Daughter leave-in spray conditioner uh, because it conditions his hair and keeps it moisturized, but it doesn't um, cause the heavy buildup like a cream conditioner would. And then to twist, I use the Curls Goddess Curls Botanical Gel. I really like to use it because it gives you a lightweight hold, but it doesn't cause buildup in locks. And that's about how much I use for each section. And then I just spritz it with water if it dries. So what you see now, is me getting ready to section off for his retwist. And on his front hairline, I don't know if it's just like he is getting a new lock every time I go to retwist his hair or if it's his edge up is kind of growing out. I think that's what it is, but I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm not gonna count his hair again. I counted at one point, but he had like a hundred and maybe 20 something. Nadia, you remember how many Taj had? She don't remember, it's all right. <laughs> so the front part is the only part that I use the comb for. Look, I'm checking the other side because I'm like, look, do we lose a lock or what is going on here? <laughs> but I just kind of slick down his baby hair because I don't want all of his edges going into the lock. So his, you know, he'll have some room for his edge up situation going on. So I just twist it with my pointer finger and my thumb, and then I put the clip at the base of each lock. And for just about every lock, I put just one clip on it. See, I just roll it. And then I just finger part the rest of his hair, no comb needed. And on the other side, I did the same exact thing with his little edge up grown out hair. I just twisted it and clipped it. See, I just kinda like do a, a twisting notion. It's notion, is that the right way? <laughs> I do a twisting notion. and then clip it at the root. And this is the size about just about all of his front locks. I think that the ones in the back are a little bit, look a little bit bigger in size because it did take longer for his front to lock. Uh, so I don't know if that makes any sense. If that's true, somebody let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments or something. But in my logic, it's either because the parts are different sizes or because it took longer for his front to lock, or both. I don't know. <laughs> so I just twist it, twist it, twist it. And this is how the back of his hair looks. Um, see, the, the ones in the back are, they look a little bit bigger. The back in the middle was the very first part of his hair to lock. The, the outside parts in his front, like his hairline, it took a little bit longer. And you see, even though I don't use a comb, 
you can still see his parts when I retwist the new growth. And this is the size of the back. And then once I finish, I take the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse and I just uh, pump it and put it all over his hair. It's like a setting lotion almost and uh, it just helps to keep everything in place because I don't like to keep the clips in for long. So I actually just take the clips out as soon as I get done because he gets a little bit irritable with all those clips in his head. And as you see, you see they still stay in place. They don't poof out or anything like that. And whenever I retwist his hair, it does usually last about maybe a week and a half to two weeks, um, depending on how rough he is throughout the week. But I just like to retwist it just to keep it together, but not necessarily to make it look so clean looking. And see, I just take the setting lotion or the mousse, and just put it all throughout his hair and just let it air dry. This is how it looked when I finished. Little flat head. Mm-hmm. 